So today is the 26th of October 2023 and it has been about three years since I last did this but today we're going to look at the retro auctions in Japan. Um, just before we do that let's go down to Avian Camera just to go into the electronics section. <sighs> what have we got here? We've got this big boombox here by Victor. It's got 22 bits in it, which means it's very um, sought after. Let's actually open it. It looks quite cool. Next to that, we've got a bulk lot of cameras, all film cameras. I can't tell the brands. Maybe Olympus for a few of them. Uh, 43 yen. That's absolutely nothing. That's like maybe two or three dollars, maybe five at most. Maybe even not even that because it's so low. Next to that we've got some sort of radio. That actually looks quite cool. Let's open that and take a look later. Another stereo, another radio, very old looking. It's a national brand. National is a subsidiary of Panasonic. I think last time I mentioned the wrong brands like Kenwood or something. What is this thing? It looks a bit like a Walkman. Correction something. Let's open that as well. Polaroid camera, that's very cool. 1,100 yen, so it's only about $10 at the moment. Uh, maybe maybe I won't, I'm just thinking whether I should buy it this time, but maybe not. Over here, another cool boombox. Very big speakers. Those are like my component unit behind my computer here. I've got an old TV, very retro, 60s style, I'd say. Toshiba, I really like the brand, that's pretty cool. Primo, Fe Primo Flex, one of those old cameras which uses... Um, what do you call them, the quarter films before 35mm became a thing, that's what that is, a very early style camera, they used them from the 30s up until the 50s until 35 took over. Over here we've got a really cool turntable, let's open that one, it's quite cool, uh, next to that we've got some cassettes, so I'm not sure what the left one is, but the right one is like a car adapter or a cleaner, they've got these little gears so that the tape player doesn't try to rewind by itself because a lot of those Japanese units actually have an auto rewind function when it doesn't detect music or doesn't feel resistance. Up here we've got a Pentax camera which is quite cool. Another TV. This is a Sony multiband radio. Might even be a transmitter, that's quite cool. VHS Mosaic. Mosaic. I'm not sure what that is, but it's got some cool switches on it. Let's open it and have a proper look at it and analyze what it is. Over here we've got a DAT audio player by the look of it. Because it's got a top loading uh, tape on it. We've got a stereo next to that. I'm not sure what this is. It looks a bit like, um, like a record player, but that's not correct. It's got these little discs. Let's open that as well. Some sort of antique... Uh, device, probably one of those old office um, measuring devices, some old headphones, not sure if they are actually that, not sure if they actually are that retro, maybe they are, they just look too new to me, but maybe they're just in really good condition. Next now we've got a Canon, what's that, AE2 I think it is. Now I've got a bit of a funny story, so a year ago I bought a Nikon version of one of these, an F501, the top models being the F4, F3 and the F801. I bought it because it was only like $20 in these auctions and I just wanted to chuck it on the shelf and have it looking cool. Um, I threw in some batteries and it actually did work so I ended up taking it with me on a trip to Japan and I took some really nice photos with it. Let's actually open that one up and take a look. So that looks like it's got one of those auto feeder functions, so, oh no it doesn't, it's the old switch type, so you take one photo, then you flip the switch over to load the next roll of film. Over here once the film is finished, instead of like holding buttons and letting it rewind like what my F80 does, you have to flip up the switch and twist the dial all the way until the roll of film reaches the end. So it's a bit more analogue than my F501, but it still looks just as cool. Now let's go back to the auctions here, what do we have next? It's another one of those um, AFM AM receivers, that's a cool camera, Olympus. Probably one of those pocket ones, I'm not sure what this thing is, it looks like a vacuum cleaner to me, let's open it and find out. We've got some C60 tapes, I was looking at some tapes the other day and the cool ones are very expensive, I might even have some in my photos folder. 
So the ones which I particularly like are the Yamaha Antique ones, but they can be very, very expensive just because they look like a reel-to-reel -reel audio roll. Got a kettle here, another old camera. I'm not sure what that is. This is a sharp looks like a VHS player, let's open it up anyway. Over here we've got a reel, so it's only a single reel, so I'm assuming that is for film, not audio. And some cool cameras there. A phonograph, that's something you don't see very often, so let's open that up. A Victor tape, I mean a record player. That's quite a big unit, you can see the record in the middle, so it's a massive unit. Those are quite cool as well. Sony Walkman. Well, maybe this is a Discman, it's not quite as expensive as some of the Walkmans, but it's still there. Maybe it's not even a Discman, because it's very small, it's got a pouch. Next to that we've got a stereo, we've got a Canon camera, this looks like a disposable one, obviously not disposable, seeing as it's still here. That's something I said last time, I believe. Toshiba Retro Boombox, now that's quite cool, I actually like Toshibas, but I won't be buying that, it's massive and shipping would cost a fortune, another stereo. Kettle, stereo, stereo. Now these are more like early 2000s, mid 2000s. These sort of um, multi combos. So you've got the tape player in the middle. Maybe this one's even a mini disc, but I doubt it. National battery. So it doesn't seem cool, but I actually quite like it. Although the chances of it having any capacity now are very slim, just because it's an old logo and it's that sort of era showa single tape, this looks like a heater or a blender, I'm not sure, can't really tell. I'll skip that, another radio, camera, speakers, some sort of Nikon accessory, it looks a bit like a GoPro to me, but I know that you're gonna chuck something in the middle and that becomes an accessory for a camera, a fan, radio, radio, fan, tuner, tape recorder, now this is pretty cool, oh it's only got it's already got a bit on it. It's only about ten dollars, but uh, let's open it and take a look. So it's a W80 by Sony, which is a double cassette player. There was an anime called K on which used the single cassette player in some of their scenes. Now these, um, I really like them because there was a video on YouTube by possibly a Russian guy, and the way that these work is just so smooth, like unbelievably smooth. It makes me believe that they don't actually have belts in them because belts tend to go a bit slow for the first second once you hit play and stop and rewind but these they just go they just hammer they just work really well according to the video at least what I've seen the only issue is that they usually command a premium or at least they did during the COVID lockdown when I was last looking Bulk lot of cameras, jeez that is a lot of cameras, must be good for a collector. Some old Sony earbuds, late, I don't even know what that is, let's open that up. Last time I think there was um, a Honda sign from a dealership, which lights up, maybe this is a similar thing, it looks a bit like the Leica, Leica logo for the cameras. A TV, now this one actually looks cool to me, it reminds me of um, the TV in Dragon Ball in the Kame house, pretty much just because of how bright it is, but I know that it's probably going to be a completely different model once we open it up. Sony Integ something, and there's no preview popping up, oh well. Radio camera, radio, there's a cabinet with speakers in it, those used to be very common, not anymore. Jeez, look at these things, these are so cool. I might actually buy these if they, I don't know, I think they're just earmuffs, but they look super retro, super 80s, just so cool. Nikon camera, so this is an FE, I've got an F80, which is a very similar model in the US, they're called the N80. Everything's pretty much auto and it works really well, it's only got four focal points, but it does the job, it's very lightweight as well being plastic. Down here we've got a lens, I don't even know what brand that is, it looks like an f2.4 which is very slow so maybe skip that. We've got a microwave or toast oven here, cool old radio here, jeez this one's really cool, it's not my sort of thing but still 60s style, uh, not transistor but still radio, I don't know what this is, ruby something, let's open it and take a look, let's reach the end of the results. 
and we've got a vinyl player here which is quite cool I don't even know what that is either transistor radio next to a <laughs> Suntory black coffee okay let's quickly go through the next page I quite like record players at the moment so let's try and find some cool ones oh, look at that Hitachi stereo now those are quite cool as well Onco that was a good hi-fi brand audio player what is this? It's like um, a heart rate monitor. If I look at it, this is an AM transmitter. Jeez, you won't even tell. It looks like um, one of those Raspberry Pi sort of things. Transistor radio, very cool. Reels, a whole bunch of. Um, they look like mini DV tapes to me. But Cabin is a cigarette brand. Senyo MRU4, those were very expensive during lockdown as well. Last time I was looking, jeez, not as much as this. I think this is a Q44, but it's a very rare colour. I've never seen them in yellow. Usually um, red, black, if you're lucky, lime green, but never yellow. I've only seen that in like the Brutals. Oh man, look at this. This is a record player. It's like a kid's one or something. It's got one bird, but it's shaped like a ladybug, a ladybird. So you got like two eyes here, you got the shell that goes over the record player, and it's actually quite cool, and the speaker built in. <laughs> ah, such nice things here. Some old cameras, Yashica, don't know what that is. Binoculars, <laughs> funny way to say it, I know, binoculars. Some cool audio products again. This one reminds me of those uh, travel, um, like radios, some of them some navigator radios have uh, compasses built in which were quite popular in Japan also this thing is very similar it might be a DAT player seeing as it's got an upright cassette slot in it maybe I'm just thinking in too much into it because this is just a normal radio over here which is just standard tapes so let's just get to the end of the results here what was that that looks like a TV screen to me but True safe light. So I think it's just a lamp. You can see like mounts underneath it. Maybe it's like an indoor lamp. If anything, like I'd say it's like um like a mining lamp, you know, like in mine shafts. Hey yeah, look, portable TV, that's actually quite cool. I've seen a few of those by other brands. Maybe we should open it and take a look. Here's one of those navigator radios, so it's got a compass at the top. Let's open that as well. National Panasonic. Some used film rolls, I don't know why you'd want those. Pentax, earphones, a cool little stereo, it's got a nice graphic on it, but I know that's just a sticker on there. Might as well go for page number three then. A small tripod. I actually have something like that, I was going to say I need one, but not really, I have one. Another National Panasonic thing, what's that say? Uni Ultrasonic Humidifier. Uh, I've got um, an air purifier in the Sora, as some of you might know from the videos. Sony batteries, some old golden green ones, those are quite cool. Some heaters, radios. Sony Walkman, jeez, look at the price, that's like $400 by now, $380 if you want to bid on it. So that's the reason why I don't buy Walkman in Japan, because they're just ridiculously expensive. Pretty much the same as on eBay, so the Walkman bug has gone everywhere. Uh, my advice is just to go to a local garage sale and try to find one that way because usually people just want to get rid of them but if you find them on the internet people are holding onto them and actually want money for them like an investment. We've got so many Walkman Discman which is quite cool still it's like $120 some sort of case probably not even gonna guess anymore just in case I get it terribly wrong, but it just reminds me of one of those like old guitar amps, so maybe it's for a speaker or something. Radio, radio, possibly a heater, another portable radio, we've got one of those here with a leather jacket as well. Another Discman, jeez, look at that, it's one of those really old cameras from like the 1930s and before, like one of the first, um, I forgot the word, but it's like an accordion sort of camera to extend them. The ones where um, the film takes a good 10 seconds to develop. Sony uh, player again. Heaters. I don't know where those are. It's like a computer, but he's playing um, the original Super Mario Brothers on there. You can see the pipes. Cameras. That one's actually quite cool. There might be a kangaroo. Uh, let's open it up and just find out. Another Nikon FM2. 
that's um, a portable radio, pocket sized. Another lot of cameras, another pocket sized radio. Some sort of QB uh, tape player. And that's a McKenzie, so um, Toshiba calls a McKenzie. I don't know the actual history behind it, but it just means that you can take off the satellite speakers and place them wherever you want. Uh, look at this Hitachi. This is an alarm clock radio. I really like these. I was gonna, <sighs> I was gonna buy the one that I mentioned last time. I think it was a Sound, Sound Stream or Sound Wave or something. But it was an American brand. It just looked really cool. I wanted to buy one, but I've got an alarm clock here. And honestly, I just use my phone anyway. Technics uh, turntable. That's actually pretty cool. It was a Def Jam use a Technics turntable is their logo for many years back when they started back in the 1980s with early hip-hop artists if you're a hip-hop fan then you'll probably like a serial like this as well Jeez, look at this a Minolta camera and it's got a giant flash on top so that's quite cool and rare this looks like one of those old um what do you call them the answering machines for telephones you don't even see them anymore another AM FM radio Alright, so I think we've got, geez, we've got a lot to look at here. So let's start off going backwards. Turntable system, that's very cool, very retro, very nice. We've got a couple up here. Ah, nice, we got um, the headphone um, box as well. I forgot what they're called. Yeah, this is a very cool thing. Although, 50 ish dollars, and it would cost a ton in shipping. So let's go on to the next thing. So, national. Yes, it is a kangaroo. There was another brand that calls them kangaroos, so I just stuck with that name, a bit like the McKenzie's. Basically, it's a Walkman with speakers, and you just pull it out whenever you like, and you can be portable with it. There are a few of them around. The kangaroos are, what was the brand, like Iowa or Hitachi, and a lot of them were beige. They're quite cool. <clears throat> a really nice alternative if you don't want to spend Walkman money, still a decent amount. And you also get a stereo boombox as well as a Walkman. <coughs> Navigator radio, so you've got the compass up here. We've got over here signal strength, timer something, auto off. And it looks like it's been well used, been outdoors. My guess was that it's been in someone's garage for the last 30 or so years. Takes two C size batteries. Next item, the television. So, way back when I was. Probably primary school, we had one of these, like a pocket sized one using an LCD screen. And it was pretty cool that now all the channels are digital, so you'd need a transceiver for that, a decoder. Um, you can get units for this, like um, car zeros that fit into cars. They were quite popular in the old Light Ace vans. What is this thing? I'm not even sure. Ruby. Something. It looks like a cooker to me. Yeah, it's like a maybe not even a mini oven because it looks quite big. It's like, yeah, there's a mini oven. That's pretty cool. Full 50s, 60s style. Let's go to the next item. Ah, oh, God, these are so cool. Damn, I'm. I might bid on this. It's a radio built into a headset, but look at it. It's so retro. It's so cool. It's it reminds me of those things from Dragon Ball where it tells you that. I love it. It's already. It's got the original box. That's so good. If I find something else to buy in the auctions, I'm buying this. <laughs> Even though it probably only goes up to 90 FM, which is pretty much just the rock and maybe a couple hip hop stations where I'm living. Uh, Sony accessory battery charger. So that's a speaker of something, a radio, and it's got... And this doesn't make sense to me, maybe it's like one of those old um, wallets or monocles where they've got the thing that clips onto your pants so you don't lose it. But that's just a charger and that's massive compared to the actual uh, receiver. So here's that TV, it looks very cool, very retro, it looks older than I thought, maybe early 80s, it's got wood grain around it, plastic back. Maybe it's not so much like in Kame House, but still got a cool look to it. Let's see, what is this? 
so far it's just a cardboard box and I'm not sure what goes inside but let's take a look at this it says Leica on it which is the actual camera brand uh, it's a neutral density filter maybe the other thing is also a filter like that okay phonograph so a really old music player old vinyl player Jeez. maybe it's not so old because it's got some fairly modern buttons still retro looking and quite cool either way sharp what is this oh i've got one of these under my desk at the moment it's just a hi-fi cd player i believe so not too much to get excited about they've gotten really small since those days what's this thing it's taking a while to load epson is it a vacuum cleaner or what karaoke set ah no wonder so the microphone goes in there and it just plays your music out there you put on your tape jeez that's actually really small like handheld that's really cool i didn't know that <laughs> <sighs> next item yeah vinyl player so it is um what i was originally thinking it's quite cool just chuck in the things over there it's not quite a sony flamingo but still very cool VHS, um, probably some sort of component thing. It's got lots of switches and dials. It's a bit hard to read it. It's got quite a few AV inputs and outputs. Probably just a filter, I reckon. This is a vinyl player. Very cool, very retro. Got that 60s, 70s look to it. It's also got a carrying cable, Victor. So that's um, JVC, Japan Victor Company. So it's a portable vinyl player, so that's quite cool. If it runs off batteries, that would be even cooler. What does it say here? AC, so that's um, wall socket. What's the next item here? Eyewear. So this has got to be um, a tape player, I reckon. Yeah, cassette. Walkman. Only a thousand yen, so it's not too bad compared to the Sony's. This looks like it takes tape as well. Uh, it's a voice recorder, that's what it is. It takes a lot of batteries. Very old and efficient. Ah, yes, it's just a reel, so it's a bit like reel to reel. So theoretically, it could be high quality national Panasonic. Matsushita is the company behind Panasonic and National and a few of their subsidiaries. I think Gathers, which makes um, the Honda stereo systems, is also owned by Panasonic, are them or Alpine. So it doesn't have auto reverse. Still a very cool boombox. So last time I brought up a Sony W600. Let's see if this actually brings up any results. Here's one, here's a white one. I was looking for... It looks like they might not have any this time, but... During... Lockdown, at the end of my last video, I actually found one of these in Perth and had it shipped over to where I was living and... The audio was so good, I actually plugged it into my TV and had it playing movies and things out of it. That's how much I liked it. But compared to something like a Logitech 2.1 or 5.1 system, they're still not great. And these dials and switches over here actually are quite scratchy, even though I've cleaned them out a few times. But what I was hoping to find today was a record player, because these actually have mounts on the back to hold a record player on top, so you can play your vinyls through them as well. It's very cool, they use um, six C-size batteries, or they use um, an AC adapter over here. The Japanese models don't have 240, 230 volts like what you get in Australia. Let's open this and go to the next tab. So here's a white one, last time I made a big fuss about it. But I ended up buying just the middle piece like this for one. It's completely cactus, so it's a project that I've been working on long term. Just need to replace the fuses, I believe. And back to this, so this is more like what I was trying to find. So it's a McKenzie with a record player that mounts on top. 
so that's quite cool. Oh, let's just take a quick look in this category for a second. We've got 90s Panasonic, which is cool. So, last time I found out that CDs actually existed in Japan in 1986, and they even had cast stereos that took CDs back then. Meanwhile, geez, look at this, it's a pink uh, radio. That's pretty cool. All of them are just red. Here's another one of those. That might be one of those kangaroo style ones that we were just looking at. What else have we got in here? We saw that one before. That does pop out. Some cool retro old stereos. Ah, these are cool and worth a lot of money these days. The Sharp VZV2 because a lot of oldies would know them as the upright portable vinyl players. So they take tapes in the top section. Is it? And they also have a record player built into them, so you can listen to either, and also a radio transmitter at the top. Toshiba RT SW7, so actually, I actually ended up buying a couple SF7s, which are the single tape version of these. Audio quality isn't great, but it's from the time. Ta plays tapes really well, has auto reverse and track seek, all that sort of functionality to it. Green is a very uncommon colour. No wonder it's like $50 because it's such a rare colour. They're usually red or black. Look at that, double speakers. It's quite cool. Things you'd only see in Japan. Fold out tape player, so that's portable. Has an AC adapter as well. I was hoping I could find another thing that I've been eyeballing for a little while. Here with this little cube player. These are quite cool. But for what you're getting there, well, yeah, they are compact, so yeah, they are quite cool. <laughs> Decent price as well, but there's a bidding war. Oh, look at that, that's cool. Bad pose on actually sell like speakers, Sanyo. I actually like these Sanyos, a bit of a tangent, because they look like speaker boxes that you find on the rear parcel shelf of old 80s cars. But it's a story for another time. If you do like these videos and enjoyed, going through the auctions with me then please do hit like and subscribe not that I do them very often thanks for watching over and out